Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 319. It's a medium level problem. However, the accuracy is pretty low. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, 22,000 submissions uh, were there. Only 7,000 got accepted. But yeah, let's discuss that. Uh, but I would say relatively easier problem uh, as compared to what we see in these stats. So the problem name is number of sub arrays with LCM equal to K. So given an integer array nums and an integer K, return the number of sub arrays of nums where the least common multiple of the sub arrays elements is equals to k okay sub arrays contiguous non-empty sequence of elements within an array and least common multiple of an array is the smallest possible integer that is divisible by all the array elements right so we know what is an lcm and uh, what is a gcd right otherwise I'll, I'll just let you know and these are certain examples given so let's directly jump into what the problem is saying. So the problem says that suppose I have an array 3, 6, 2, 7 and 1. Okay. And I have a value k here 6. So what I need to do, I need to find the number of sub arrays of this array such that the LCM of the elements in that sub array equals to k. Right. And what is LCM? LCM is the least common multiple uh, of the elements of that array. Right. So in case you guys are familiar with that or not like for example if i tell you three and six okay so what will be the lcm of this the lcm will be six because six is the smallest element which can be divided by three as well as six okay like 12, is also, 12 is also a common multiple of three and six but that is not the least common multiple so for for uh, like for example if i tell you two four um uh, let's take eight right so what are the common multiples of these three numbers right uh, it is uh, for example 20 not 20 24 is there right 24 can be divided by 2 4 and 8 right is there any smaller number than 24 what about 12 what about 12 no 12 cannot be divided by 8 what about 8 right so just see 8 can be divided by 8 by 4 by 2 there is no number smaller than 8 which can be divided by all these three numbers so this is the lcm right i was just telling with the gist and also one common thing for two numbers a and b a into b equals to lcm of a into a and b into gcd of a into b a, a into b not sorry a b this is a very uh, i would say common formula right and what is gcd gc is the co uh, greatest common divisor so let's take this example only three and six so greatest common divisor a number which divides both of these numbers so one is that number two cannot divide both of them however three can divide both of them right so three is the gcd right so in lcm lowest common multiple and gcd is the greatest common divisor of all the numbers so this is a basic formula right so what we need to do if if you guys are familiar with this thing and this thing then we we are good to go nothing fancy is needed all we all we, we will do is uh so the, the number of elements that we can have is 1000 right so let's run an square loop simple stuff uh, initialize your current lcm uh, lcm with one current lcm with one okay right now what do you do you keep on considering each and every sub array let me just show you the code that will become more clear so just see this is the uh, what do you call it uh, logic of gcd and this is the logic of lcm so just see logic of gcd is very trivial however for lcm what i have done a into b divided by gcd simple whatever i told you this is the same thing i've written now come to the core logic this is the length of the array this is my answer and this is my core logic what is that i start with i equals to zero i go to n right so that means i am considering all the sub arrays which start with i and end with j right i'll in, in this way i'll cover all the sub arrays so just see starting with i ending at j right so what i'll do at every iteration, current LCM is 1. Now, current LCM equals to LCM of current LCM and nums of J. That means whatever LCM. So, suppose this is my array that I need to consider. So, till here, whatever is my LCM, I include, I find the LCM of the LCM that I found till now and the current element as well. Right? Because just consider this, lowest common multiple. Suppose for some numbers, lowest common multiple is X. And I get a new number. Uh, let's call it uh, A. Okay? So, if I find the lowest common multiple of this and this, that means I found the lowest common multiple of all the elements, right? These elements and this, right? right? Simple stuff. So 
and finally then what what i'll do after i find the lcm i'll check if my lcm lcm equals equals k add one to my answer that okay i have found one more sub array following this condition else add zero and then finally we return our answer right so yeah that's it for this problem um lcm related so generally we get gcd related problems this is also sort of that problem only uh, in this case it's just that we we extend it to find the lcm and then we find the total number of sub arrays right so yeah i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case of any queries please do let me know in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye